then there were five. Shouted at, tortured, that could be a point where I crack. And it's hard to believe that he hasn't cracked yet. What's with the uh, varnish on your nails? Oh, it's just kind of my thing. Tom, the man at the center of the Scandaval drama. I don't give a about Fergal! Is one of the finalists on Fox's grueling reality series, Special Forces. Why did you want to do this? I felt like it would be a nice, healthy distraction from all the chaos and that's going on in my life. I want to take a beating. He has taken an emotional beating, breaking down last week watching a video message from his mom. You take care of yourself and uh, just do it, Tom. The boys of Bachelor Nation, Tyler Cameron, and The Bachelor's Nick Vile are also finalists and haven't gotten off any easier. Are you both liars? Yes! Yes, you are! Yes! I was pretty confident, but I never knew it was gonna be as hard as it was. Yeah. So my confidence definitely got shook throughout this whole, like, you know, day five, day six, I was like really thinking about leaving. Like, what am I doing here? Like, what's the point, you yeah. know? Um, but I always had confidence I was gonna get to this point, but never realized how bad it was. And so is former Dance Bomb star Jojo Siwa, who is definitely the dark horse of this competition. <laughs> And going in, I was like, yeah, I'm winning. I ain't quitting. Mm -hmm. Then like day one and two, I was like, yeah, I got this. I'm, I am, I know. Then on day like three, four, I was like, ooh, maybe not. Like maybe <laughs> this is too much for me. Then day five, I was back to like, no, you know what, push. Then day six, I was like, mm, nah, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna tap that. I remember asking you day six, I was like, tell me not to quit. Tell me not to quit, because I will quit. When we started maybe by day two, I was like, maybe I could do this. And then day <laughs> day five happened. And, <laughs> day five put you in. Um, I, I really didn't think I was gonna make it, but I really, I wanted to, and I just, I kept trying, and, and these guys kept motivating me, and um, I just kind of, fought through each hour. 14 celebrity contestants began their journey in the brutal New Zealand cold, including Bob Saget's widow Kelly Rizzo, Jack Osborne, and former Olympic skier Bodie Miller. Ex-military professionals put them through an insanely hardcore boot camp. The bag is so heavy, I can't do it, my back's killing me. Tara Reid called it quits after two days, telling Billy she just wasn't ready. You pulled the ripcord, you bailed. Yeah. I had to. Did you prepare well enough? Yeah. No, they hired me three days before the show, so I had no, no time to prepare for it physically. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm done. But Tyler might have misjudged his fellow finalist. I see the bows, I see all these crazy outfits. I'm like, this girl is gonna be such an LA diva. That's it, pick them up, three. There you go, number 12, that's how it works. She was the biggest surprise, and you know, I didn't know if she was going to be cocky or arrogant or anything like that. She was humble, hardworking, uh, there for everybody, team first mentality. Uh, you know, I, I tell everyone, JoJo was the biggest surprise for me. It, it puts me in like puppy mode. You know what I mean? Like when I when I hear these two talk like that, it it, it just like makes me like thank you because I. I think that was my goal, was to just be there for everybody. And so hearing that I did that, it, it means a lot. Um, I understand where the surprise of, of me being the surprise comes from because, you know, you hear the word Jojo Siwa and you think, kid who talks loud wearing a hair bow and that is crazy, you know what I mean? You don't, I don't think anyone knew that I had some sort of actual grit inside of me. Um, but I think that y'all got to see me for mm -hmm. me without that. Um, and I, I mean, it was the first time on a super public platform that I got to be this version of me, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I've been loving reading the responses too of everyone seeing you yeah. and like, like seeing this side of JoJo Thank because you. no one's really seen it yet. Yeah. And you know, they all seen the younger JoJo from dance shows and all these things but they don't see this real gritty, rough, strong yeah. leader JoJo. And yeah. I think you've blown people away. And after every ounce of their being has been tested, the goal to win the competition will be realized by one of them tonight. I think, I mean, what I thought was the most interesting about like the the heights and the trinasium and the, the backwards dive is that it what it taught you is like, you can choose to be scared or not be scared, yeah. you know, because once it was your your number was called, you had to just attack Go. it, you know. And to me, it kind of taught you the 
the, the, the importance of just not sitting and letting yourself, not psyching yourself out? I think I noticed a physical, like I, 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 I guess I kind of always knew mentally I was strong, you know what I mean? I, like, I, was, I was chilling in that department. But physically, you know, I'm a, a, as strong as a 20-year-old girl can be. You know, not to say that 20-year-old girls can't be strong, but put me next to these two, they're gonna be way stronger than me, you know what I mean? And so I think finding that physical strength of like, just like, how am I helping carry this boat right now? How am I pulling my own weight carrying this boat? You know what I mean? Like that, that to me was something that I was like, wow. That's pretty sick, you know what I mean? Like when I felt us carrying the boat, I mean obviously our team, no offense to your team, but our team was, we were, we were pretty solid on that boat. JoJo was, it was, she was great to have as a teammate. She, I mean, sometimes it was frustrating because she never got tired. You know, I'd be like sitting there just being like wanting to die and JoJo would be like, hey guys, you're doing great. We have no weak links in a team.